Hey there, BitCash crew. Eddie P back here once again. It is Tuesday, and because it is a Tuesday, that must mean that I'm going to be doing an altcoin and an ICO review. So we've got some pretty groovy little altcoins to go through, and an ICO that, at the very least, it has quite a noble purpose. So um, let's take a look. Hey folks, just a reminder that with this show, this isn't actually financial advice. Just talking about a few altcoins and ICOs that Richie and I are looking at. Uh, we may invest, we may not invest. We're just sharing some of the, the information about these respective coins and ICOs with you guys. Beautiful. So for today, we will kick off the show with our first altcoin of the day, which is called Cryptonex. <laughs> All right, so uh, Cryptonex has a, a couple of functions, but there's really just one main thing that its creators are trying to achieve. And this is pretty awesome, so make sure you're sitting down when you hear this. What they hope to achieve with this one is they want to be able to exchange any currency in the world for any crypto coin and vice versa. So that's pretty damn exciting and pretty damn crazy. But, you know, you have to think of the functionality of this, you know. There are, you know, we're in the thousands now of different cryptocurrencies that are on the market. And there's, of course, uh, dozens of different fiat currency options from, you know, I mean, obviously we think of the majors like US dollar, British pound, euro, things like that, but there's plenty others. But imagine you lived in a world where no matter where you were, you could travel with just your cell phone or a bank card of sorts, or now you can sort of scan with the phone, and you could pay using your crypto uh, or your fiat. Uh, or vice versa. I mean, this opens up a whole bunch of new options and, and great things for especially people who travel a lot. You know, this is really exciting. So point number one, to be able to exchange cryptocurrency into fiat or vice versa. Point number two, to make it really simple for all of us out there, us, you know, as the, the end users of this particular coin or could be users of this coin, um, they hope for this whole thing to really just work with a bank card or, you know, I guess it's not really banks anymore, but um, what we call a bank card um, and or using our cell phone, which a lot of people do. They'll do PayPass just with their phone now, which is, is pretty exciting. So this is really cool because it takes Bitcoin or excuse me, Bitcoin takes cryptocurrency from being sort of this thing on a wallet on your computer to being something you just use in your daily transactions, which is really what we want to get to, because once that becomes the norm, then we'll really have this peer to peer network with complete decentralization. So this is really good and I'm very excited about it. Now, what's also really exciting is whether you're paying on the phone or, um, or I should say using the phone or using this bank card of sorts, I should probably find a better name than a bank card, but at least you all know what I'm referencing, like you would have with a credit card. Um, but the, whichever one you use, what's really exciting is that the, um, the platform will show you the cost in the crypto of your choice and also fiat currency. So, you know, if you're there and you're rocking the Ethereum or the Ripple or whatever it is you're into, Dash, you know, makes no real difference according to them. Um, you can choose to pay in that or in U.S. dollars. And, you know, this is this is giving people a lot of power, which, um, you know, to really control their finances and um, and to buy and sell in the way they choose. So I really like that. So all that said, I've done some reading on this altcoin. I'm not so clued up on how good their security is. Um, that will be a concern for me because now, you know, not that it screams unsafe to me, but you have so many different fiat currencies and then you have all these little cryptos running in and out of this, this system. I don't know if it's as secure as if you just had sort of a single cryptocurrency and that, that kind of worries me a little bit. Um, that being said, I mean, this is a really, really exciting idea, even if this is just sort of you know, one of the first of its kind in the future, people perfect this a little better. This is the future, you know, I mean, the, the days of queuing up um, at these ridiculous places where you exchange currency before you go on holiday, they're, they're just going to have to go by the wayside where you get really crappy rates, you go overseas, you don't get good rates there. You know, if it's just all on a card, it's easy, it's quick, it's efficient. And with more and more people on the blockchain, this is a great thing, especially for folks who travel all the time. Cool. So the other reason I wanted to talk to y'all about La Crypto next today is, well, just have a look at your screen right there. 53% move. That, that's humongous. And you can see on the graph here that it has been growing for some time. But this one, I think, does have pretty good potential. Like with all commodities, especially cryptos, it really depends on how many folks are getting involved. They've got a respectable market cap there, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this one, 
I, I think this one has some, some good potential just because it can serve so many people. Um, if you like, it sort of casts a wide net or a wide tent, and a lot of people can sort of benefit from a coin like this. So let's keep an eye on it and see where it goes, huh? All right, pressing on to Syscoin. So, what is Syscoin? Well, obviously, it's an altcoin. Um, you probably knew that already. <laughs> anyway, but what does Syscoin do? It's probably a more appropriate question. So, with Syscoin, um, the best way I've heard it explained, you know, in the, the different articles I've read and videos I've been looking at on this, this little altcoin, it's essentially the eBay of the crypto world. And um, that's pretty exciting. Some folks liken it to Amazon as well. So, with this guy, the idea is that you'll have a platform where you will have tokens where you can buy and sell items. And the platform sort of creates this environment, much like eBay, where you can buy and sell different things from anybody. So, you know, that is really exciting. To me, anything that frees up a marketplace and gives people more of an opportunity to become business owners and take their livelihood into their own hands is a positive thing. You know, and um, it gives people power to sort of be masters of their own destiny. So I do love that. So with this guy, as I said, picture sort of buying and selling eBay-ish kind of thing on the blockchain. So that's really cool. What is also really cool is you can resell other people's products on the blockchain too. So this to me, the way I understand it, and I'm, you know, I've only been sort of introduced to this very recently, but the way I get it with this coin, it's kind of like an affiliate program, which has proved really, really great for many, many people the world over on Amazon's platform mainly. A lot of people have gotten very wealthy, and just a lot of people just earning, you know, really decent incomes with that. So that's pretty cool. And the third thing to say about it, and I don't know how they guarantee this, but according to them, they can never go down, as in their website, their traffic, it, it can never go down. I don't know how anyone can guarantee that, but Hey, power to him if that's a real claim. Um, but yeah, I, I do like this one. If for no other reason, we see what its predecessors have done. So if you look to the past and see how, how, you know, how effective eBay has been and continues to be, you know, and how effective and amazing Amazon is. I mean, is it Jeff, Jeff Bezos is now the richest man in the world. You know, so clearly that these models are effective. Um, that those models also come from really good management and people with vision and foresight and all that kind of good stuff. And if there are smart people behind this one and it sort of, you know, attracts enough attention, then this could be a successful coin as well. All right. So let's wrap up today's show with a look at today's ICO, which is called Ayuptus. I think I've pronounced it properly, but I'm just going with Ayuptus. Yeah. Cool. So with Ayuptus, um, as I said at the top of the show, I, I find this to be kind of a noble endeavor that they're trying to get into. Um, Ayuptus has, has a really, really sort of straightforward um, principle or, or perhaps purpose is a much better word. And what they're hoping to achieve, the folks who have, have created this coin, is to create a crypto where people can basically set up their retirement fund. And, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, I have a number of thoughts on this, which we'll get into, but that's point one is retirement fund. Just picture that. That's its main principle. The other thing uh, about it, or I should say, like, sort of how it functions is, uh, folks will use the tokens, you know, these, um, AUTUS tokens, if I pronounce that properly, and they'll be able to buy and sell financial services, uh, on the blockchain. So that doesn't make this the most unique one. I've seen this on a few other altcoins, which is fine. Um, you can have m more than one you know, type of something. There's not just Coke, there's, you know, Pepsi and Fanta. And I don't I don't really like soda, but there's plenty of them out there. Um, but yeah, there's other folks that are doing that, but specifically with this one, they're targeting it for retirement. And that's interesting because, you know, this is sort of a young man's game. You know, this whole world of, of cryptosphere and all this kind of stuff, it's not something that's sort of pegged at people who are just thinking of retirement, even though we should sort of all be thinking about that no matter what age we're at. Now, with the assets, or I should say with the financial services that you can buy or sell on the blockchain, um, it'll obviously have access to just different cryptos that you can invest in, but it'll also have access to stocks, at least US-based stocks for the time being. Now, if this is successful, I think that this will become more and more dense. There'll probably be many other different financial services that you can invest in um, through the blockchain. And I think that the more they have, they'll probably do better because they'll have more and more people that can come in and find their niche this or their niche that, or they'll find whatever it is they like, but they'll do it through the blockchain. So it's decentralized. It's sort of off the grid, if you like, and folks can still do their, their investment for retirement. Now, the one flag I would put up, and this isn't really a put down as much as it is sort of an observation and just wondering if this is really going to function well, 
you know, this idea of retirement. So I'm 32 years old and I'm already, you know, I think about retirement plenty. Um, that's one of the reasons why I do this trading and the Forex trading because I want to live a good life and should I have a family one day, I want them to have a good life as well. Um, but the thing is, is that I'm not so sure that in my mind, I'm thinking retirement, you know, and I think as soon as you start using that word, you sort of associate it with elderly people. And, you know, that's fine, but folks who are investing in blockchain technology, you know, crypto, these aren't old people, at least for the most part. I don't want to overgeneralize, but this is my main concern. You know, this is a problem with their marketing, you know, scheme. As soon as you say retirement, I think you're going to have a lot of people just sort of snoozing because they're just like, well, that's not what we're doing here. We're investing, we're buying, we're trading, all that kind of stuff. Those are more buzzwords that are associated with the world of crypto. And I'm just not so sure that the messaging about this one is really going to get it across the line. All that said, I could be dead wrong. This could bring some sort of revolution where all the grannies and grandpas find this one and they see that retirement buzzword and they start investing in the coin itself, let alone, you know, the, um, the functionality of the blockchain goes gangbusters. And, and if that happens, then great. But I suppose only time will tell. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I really love being here. Hope you enjoyed the show today. If there's a particular ICO or and or, I should say, altcoin that you want me to review, just comment below or hit us up on the Facebook and the Twitter, uh, and I'll, I'll do a review for you all. Until next time, uh, Mr. Rich will be back tomorrow to talk about all kind of things crypto. I'll be back on Thursday to talk more about altcoins and ICOs. Until then, stay safe, stay well. If you are in the United Kingdom, rug up. It is damn cold out there. So, um, yeah, anyway, until next time, y'all have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.